In this episode, we discover that the RV has a sunroof, we have a company party, kids eat popcorn, and Angie plays with duct tape. Enjoy! Good morning, everybody. Well, I'm standing in my bathroom. Why am I standing in my bathroom? Well, Chinese make a piece of junk. We just installed this. And now, it's missing. Urgh. Cheap piece of... I guess it was windy last night and that wasn't closed or I don't know what the deal is. But I don't think I can just replace the stupid cover. I think I gotta rip the whole thing out again and put it in. It's not one thing, it's another with this coach. But really, how cheap can you get on the plastic on these things? We're gonna buy a more expensive one. It's my fault for buying them cheap, I get it. I was trying to save a buck, now it turned into more work. So, anyway, we're over here at Dockweiler State Beach and I'm filming in my bathroom. So let's go out. We're about ready to have our company party and uh, bring everybody over here to the campsite. There's Gabbers. Say hey Gabbers. Hi. Come on, stick your head out. Say hi to everybody. Hi. We can't see. There you are. <laughs> Gabbers is up playing around. It's just just me and Gabby today. Maddie's away and Angie's up uh, doing SAT tests and stuff today. She's uh, scoring them or grading them or watching them or doing something with them. I don't know. But she's away. And uh, we're going to have about 20 people here today at Dockweiler State Beach. Kind of see behind me. We got a front row. Really nice. Kind of just chilling out. Wait for everybody to come. We got the barbecue all set up. Propane hose is going. It was pretty chill last night. Got me my coffee. And a uh, little update on Cleo here. Let's have a little chat. I'm going to do a little update on Cleo. Cleo is with the trainer right now. We had a, uh, a problem at doggy day camp where she was on the leash and another dog came around the corner and Cleo went after her. And Well, we got kicked out of doggy day camp. Cleo is being harder and harder to walk down by the house, so we sent her to a trainer for a month, where the trainer will work with her six days a week, six times a day for a month. We haven't seen Cleo, we haven't talked to Cleo, we really miss Cleo. I think this is better for her. A um, little bit of a little bit of background on the trainer. I guess he trained in Germany under the number one trainer and uh, then came over here and started his own business and uh, he goes around the country training dogs. Uh, celebrities take their dogs to this guy so I'm hoping this works because I really love that dog and uh, I can't have a dog that uh, attacks other dogs especially Cleo's size. Cleo is about 110 pounds of pure muscle and when she wants something she gets something so I'm hoping this really works for everybody's sake because Cleo's a cool dog. She really is. And uh, we spent a ton of money on this because we really love, you know, we really love her. She's a family member, just like you guys. So anyway, um, company party, everybody say hi. Oh, so asleep. He's asleep? Cooked an amazing tri-tip. It was so good. I'm getting good at this. I wish you could all taste some. But we're just having a little company party appreciation. I figure I'd bring my RV down here and run a campsite for everybody. And then the company helped pay for the food and everything. And yeah, it was good to go. It was fun. Everybody's enjoying that. And later on tonight, we're gonna put up our 
Papa Drew movie screen, which is gonna go right there. It was eight dollars. I could have gone to the damn dollar store and got this shit. Hate spending money like this. Dumb. Is that my car? No. That's the freaking Toyota people. Pointing in the right direction? I don't know. Am I pointing it at you? <laughs> You're not putting that anywhere. I'm, I mean it because it's not funny to me. I do not like it. It's awesome though. Girl power. I don't need girl. I have girl power. I don't need that. Uh, everyone wants to see you. Pointing this damn thing in the right spot. Yes. <laughs> I 